everybody, welcome back to Phones and Drones. I wanna take a couple minutes, I hope you can hear me through all this wind outside today. I wanna to talk to you guys about some tips, tricks, Easter eggs, and maybe even some lesser known facts for the Tesla Model 3, as well as some of the other models in Tesla's fleet this will actually apply for as well. Thumbs up this video guys, thank you for watching. If there's something else you guys wanna see, let us know, leave a comment on, down below for that as well, and we'll get right into this one. Tesla has a lot of neat little Easter eggs that aren't well advertised. You can do a Google search, you can find under YouTube videos, but Tesla does not advertise them themselves. And this is a really cool, I guess you can almost say a little side thing that Tesla throws into all their videos. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with some of the more commonly known ones and easy ones. And that's the simple renaming of the car. So. If you want to go ahead and rename your vehicle, 42, this will automatically change the name to life, the universe, and everything. So 42 is meant to be the meaning of life according to a book. Not the hugest Easter egg, but pretty cool nonetheless. Again, just shows you the inner thoughts of how trivial things Tesla does to include in their vehicle. Aside from that one, let's go ahead and actually clear this out and then do Patsy. Ah. And that is a Monty Python reference. And in the Tesla Arcade, there is actually a setting, oh, sorry about that, for a Monty Python now and it will take you to, I believe, the YouTube channel for all of that. So here we go, Monty Python, like I said, on YouTube. You can actually check out some of the clips as well on there for that. Moving on past that, one thing that I wanna call out to you guys, a lot of these little, we'll say, quote unquote, Easter eggs have actually now been included in the Tesla vehicle. So they used to have the Mars mode, Santa mode, Rainbow Road, it all used to be uh, somehow a tipper trick like for Santa mode you should actually be able to hit the sound ho 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 and you can see it says opening Santa mode it changed the vehicle to a sled and when you're driving it actually shows you snow falling around your vehicle so nothing big but instead of having to actually say ho 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 now you can actually simply press the Santa by the icon same with Mars, you can turn your vehicle to look like the Mars Rover. And it looks like it's actually going on the surface of Mars. I'm gonna go ahead and drive around and you can see it actually does move. Let me back out of this parking spot. And you can actually see us turning on the map. but nothing too crazy. Just one other little trick of the trade here as well. Go ahead and stop. And you can see Santa mode still in action as well. You can see the snow around the vehicle and back to the sled again. So aside from that, you can go back into the entertainment box. Oh, excuse me, the toy box. And we'll go ahead and turn Mars off. Rainbow Road. I will show you actually in a second here. This actually makes it look like the road that you're driving on is Rainbow Road like in Mario. that you do have romance mode which turns on the heater actually and a fireplace so pretty cool not much else to that as well got a couple seconds of music and then you're also going to get 
emissions, which again, used to be a Easter egg, which isn't so much an Easter egg anymore since it is in that toy box. This allows you to kind of put a whoopee cushion wherever you want. You can have a fart on demand, fart on when you turn the turn signal on. Neat little, <laughs> just a little cool little action you can do. Completely pointless, but neat to see them including this in here. Now, additionally, you do have a sketch pad. Pretty cool. If you want to draw draw on here, you can. It actually entertains my little one. So if you're trying to kill some time while your partner is actually out shopping, let the little one doodle here a little bit. It, it does kill a little bit of time. So you have those. Those are some of the more commonly known one, ones as well. As far as that rainbow road that we were talking about prior as well, you can actually press down four times on the gear stock and it will do the same thing as rainbow road. And I'll again show you that right here in a second. You do have as well a couple of other little voice tones here. You can actually keep summer safe to activate sentry mode. Obviously it's already engaged now so it won't re-engage it but if you just want to do that instead of actually holding down on the icon that is an option as well. The next one's pretty common as well. It's the no brake gear switch. So if you're going under six miles an hour, we'll go ahead and just say five miles an hour, you can actually go ahead and automatically switch back and forth between gears with no issue at all. All right, the next one's pretty simple and just a little cool little baked in Easter egg. If you hold your finger on the call icon down here, you will actually change it to Ahoy Hoy. That was actually what they originally were going to call it. Instead of saying hello, they wanted people to answer the phone, ahoy, ahoy. So again, pretty cool. Just one little side tip and trick there as well. All right, and the next one I want to show you is instant speed deceleration. So if you are going over the speed limit and you need to decrease your speed quickly, you can actually tap on the speed limit sign and it will decrease that speed if you are on cruise control. All right, so the next one I want to show you guys is actually a couple that are in the AC options, and that's going to be dog mode and camp mode. We'll go ahead and start with dog mode. This will actually allow you to keep the climate on as well as the screen while you run into the store or do what you need to do with a pet in the vehicle so they don't become overheated. Note, do not leave your child unattended in a vehicle. This goes without saying, but I just want to throw that out there. So if you're in this mode and you get out of the vehicle, the screen will come on and I'll show you what that looks like. So you can see it actually gave you that screen, letting people know that it's okay, your car is running, not to freak out and call the cops with that. You can see it actually does advertise it on the bottom of the display as well. The next one is gonna be camp mode. Camp mode allows you to keep the, everything going on except for sentry, security, and walk away mode will be disabled. It'll allow you to stay in this mode until your car reaches 20% battery. And I've heard there's actually a neat little Easter egg in this mode as well, but it takes about 10 minutes to kick in. So I'm going to pause the, the video and we'll come right back after 10 minutes. All right, so 10 minutes just hit on the dot. And here is what happens if you don't touch your screen in that 10 minute time frame in camp mode. So you can see you get a nice little camp stage. You got your campfire, a tent, two chairs. And if this wasn't an Easter egg enough for you guys, there is actually two other pieces in here. One is the little dog sitting in the chair from dog mode. And the second one is actually an outline for the cyber truck in the back. I'm going to try to zoom in for you guys and hopefully you can see it a little better. So if you can see between the trees back there, you have the outline of that cyber truck. Pretty cool. If this is indeed a tease beforehand, when camp mode was released, 
the actual Cybertruck wasn't even unveiled. It could have been hiding in plain sight in here. This personally could be one of the coolest Easter eggs Tesla has built into the Model 3 or their vehicles in general. Now, having said all that, the other two big Easter eggs that we have are going to be ones I can't show you personally, but I'm gonna give you an idea behind them. And the first one is actually callouts for Back to the Future. So I'm gonna show you on my Galaxy Fold here. If you get your car to 121 miles exactly, you will actually be able to see your car looking like a Model X with the Falcon wings up, saying it's out of time. And you can see it says time circuits on, as well as your fuel chamber saying current output 300R. Pretty cool little feature there as well. I thought that was pretty neat. Again, you have to make sure this is done in the app at exactly 121 miles. So keep that in mind. And if I didn't tell you, when your Tesla is at that 121 mile range, you have to click on the battery inside the Tesla app and it'll launch the Easter egg. There's no way to rename your vehicle or anything like that, but that is how you would actually activate that. The last one I wanna show you is that light up charging port while you're charging. If you repetitively press on the charger button on the charger, you will get some sort of a rainbow effect. And you can see what it looks like on the Model S here. And on the Model X, it looks the same. The Model 3, the T actually is what illuminates. It looks a little different, but it is still, needless to say, a cool little aspect of it as well. So aside from that, guys, let me know if we missed anything. Do you know any other Easter eggs that are built in to the Tesla vehicles you can find? I know there's one really specific to the Model X as well. It's where you have it like called champion mode or something like that. And the wings go up, doors open, lights flash. It's really cool. I have never experienced that in person. Would really like to see it. But aside from that, I think we covered most all of them out right now. If we miss it again, though, comment down below and let us know. Have you found any yourself? Make sure, use our referral link if you're gonna pick up a new Tesla. You can get those thousand free supercharge miles as well as helping us out get the same thing. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.